psychology. You pretend you're studying a volunteer, but you're actually testing your own assistant. The person you've asked to help run the experiment. The assistant never knows. Not until it's all over. It's a big mistake to back a weak president. Sir? Huh? Oh, very clever, Victor. Very clever. They've learnt a lot since Vietnam. Another piece, Corky? Oh, no. I... Well, okay. Thanks, Harp. I, I didn't mean to intrude tonight. I, I wouldn't if, if I'd known about this. Oh, Harvey's friends are always welcome. I scraped most of the black off. I'm sorry about the dinner. The phone kept ringing and I didn't hear the timer. We're steak and kidney pie. I know you must all be very upset. A good family like yours deserves better than this. Thank you. And where is your other son, um, Frank? Uh, he went for a walk. The smoke made him sick. Oh, but please, call me Monica. It's amazing. My mom's name was Monica. Corky went to a Holy Innocence school in Boston. So what brought you down under? Well, after Vietnam, I, I just kind of drifted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me too. I mean, well, when you've lived through jungle warfare, it's not easy to sit at a desk all day. I used to dive for cover every time the phone rang. <laughs> My wife couldn't take it. <laughs> she left me. And so I had to ask my mom if I could move back home. <laughs> really? I guess moms are the same all over the world. They always stand by you. And um, where was your father? Well, my dad was an Aussie. Oh. Yeah, he, he was a sailor. Um, on the, the Voyager. When it... Um, mom... Uh, Moved into a trailer park after he drowned. She got a job as a cleaner in a shopping mall. She wasn't a dame who was going to change the world, but she was kind and wise. And I miss her a lot. Do you ring her much? They don't have phones in heaven, Harve. Oh. She never got a break in her entire life. I can remember at the end, she was just lying there with her morphine and her Lord's water. And she just kept saying, Bless me, Father, for um, I have sinned. It's it's been ten years since my last confession. Accuse myself of with joyful strength and let us sing at the strength of <laughs> It's beautiful. I haven't had so much fun in years. I'm glad it was too smoky to watch TV. Harp, <laughs> <laughs> would you mind? Just just one or two bars. Sure. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. I now absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the It's always so soothing to kneel in the dark and unburden your heart to a stranger. Fascinating, aren't they? The latest in US technology. Listening devices, the size of cufflinks. And satellite linked. Half of Mafeking has been telling their sins to the stars. To Buck McHugh's confession, the DJB have sunk very low indeed. Which means, I'm afraid, we're going to have to sink lower. Hello, Misty. Hello, how are you? McHugh, Edward Francis. If lost, please return to... Liver Cirrhosis Research Foundation. Oh, Frank. Are you all right? Oh, no. Not Dad. Not an alcoholic. They didn't say he was an alcoholic. Lots of men drink. Just that his liver was scarred. But Mum, it says cirrhosis. And cirrhosis You boys means... think the world of your dad. It's what he lived for. Don't tell Harvey. Tell me what? After he drowned, they did a post-mortem. That must Was have been... Was he drinking when he died at my first communion party? He had a cough. He took some cough syrup. <laughs> he just missed out on a land tax promotion. Would have put him in charge of three other people. Or Ted should have got it. He knew his job backwards. His forms were neat, his desk immaculate. He was always polite on the telephone. A normal man has lights in his eyes. Ted's didn't after that. He killed himself, didn't he? Don't you ever say that. He was having a social drink. He slipped and fell. Burning all those candles, praying for a job he was never going to get. Huh? He didn't deserve to be broken like that. He would have been so proud of your award. <laughs> I only got it because I didn't pray. Can't you understand that? That's why Dad's in a jar and not running a department. Corky's right. Where was God when Dad needed him? How long have you felt this way? A few days. You should have told me. You should have come sooner. I don't trust God anymore. Ever since I won that award, it's, it's all gone wrong. Well, you're here now. That must mean something. I came out of habit. My dad deserved better. I loved my dad. All he wanted was a, a lousy little job. God should have looked after him better. Harvey. And don't tell me to pray. I can't. You can call for help. So do it, Harvey. Say, God, help me. And he'll come. He didn't come for Dad.
upset? Oh, look you. I've just been lighting a candle for Georgina. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? As if a week in hot wax could help her now. Yet somehow I feel it does. Here. You didn't say a prayer. I don't anymore. I can't. Why aren't you angry? How can you kneel there and pray when your sister was murdered and God let it happen? I'm sorry. No, say what you feel. I'm not a government minister here and, and you're not a public servant. We're just two creatures humbled by him. I think you should abolish the Clark of the Month award. Does terrible things to people. I feel like I'm drowning. Like I'm I'm calling out. But no one can hear me. If Georgina were here. She'd probably say, don't give up your soul without a fight. <laughs> Your soul is worth more than the whole of Australia. More than any election. More than any parliament. More than any PM rolled into one. Hang on, McHugh, you must hang on. God won't let you drown. in 10 minutes. I mightn't go today. What are you looking at? Nothing. You were always scared of Santa, don't you remember? Said you didn't want a stranger coming to your room at night, so in the end we had to tell you. It's best to know the truth sometimes. Why aren't you going to church? Because Dad killed himself. That's what people said, but I know it was an accident. How? How do you know? When you sleep beside someone, when he whispers his thoughts, you know. You just do. Ted wouldn't have left us. We meant more to him than anything. It just doesn't seem right that God would do that to Dad. When he died, I was angry for months. Then I started to think me and God, well, wasn't very different from me and Ted. He'd usually done the right thing by me and maybe he had his reasons. He should have told you what they were. He might have. Perhaps I couldn't understand. Like when you had your tetanus injections. You'd scream and cry and I'd try to explain, but... Ted's happy now, Harv. And he's not far away. I know it, really, I do. And if we lose our trust in God, next thing we'll stop trusting each other. Don't you look nice, Dad? You're probably not missing much. Bet it's another money sermon. Oh, hear us when we cry.
Então... I should come here more often. This is your first time. You ever missed that half? Yeah. All the time. I remember when we used to sit on his knee. You'd nick the change from his pockets. And these low boys smelling of sand shoes. Cough drops. <laughs> On Saturday mornings when he'd wrestle with us on the lawn and throw us up in the air. The time he didn't catch me and I got 20 bucks not to tell Mum. <laughs> Remember that punch he taught me? Public service left. <laughs> Still use that. Gets him every time. Wanted to teach my kids that punch. Let's go, Frank. <laughs> Bless our daddy in his sleep. Give him slumber soft and deep. Give him comfort from his aches. Give him sunshine when he wakes. Hey, they're putting your name on the big board today. Should be ready by lunchtime. I wish Dad could have seen this. Yeah, it's on the house. Don't spill it. I won't. The clerk of the month has to be punctual. I'll see ya. McHugh returns tomorrow. Join us tonight for a thrilling tale of sheep rustling, robots and romance as Wallace and Gromit star in another Oscar-winning adventure to keep you on the edge of your seats. Wallace and Gromit, A Close Shave, 8.30 tonight on ABC One.